Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's devotion for January 21st. Today's devotion is titled Small Fish. And the Bible reading is from Matthew 19, chapter 19, verses 16 to 26. Just then a man came up to Jesus and asked, Teacher, what good thing must I do to get eternal life? Why do you ask me about what is good, Jesus replied. There is only one who is good. If you want to enter life, keep the commandments. Which ones, he inquired. Jesus replied, you shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony. Honor your father and mother and love your neighbor as yourself. All these I have kept, the young man said. What do I still lack? Jesus answered, If you want to be perfect, go, sell your possessions and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come follow me. When the young man heard this, he went away sad because he had great wealth. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Truly I tell you, it is hard for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. Again I tell you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. When the disciples heard this, they were greatly astonished and asked, who then can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, with man, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Over several years, a British couple living in West Africa developed a strong friendship with a man in their town and many times shared the love of Jesus and the story of salvation with him. Their friend, however, was reluctant to relinquish the lifetime of allegiance he had to another religion, even though he came to recognize that faith in Christ was the greater truth. His concern was partly financial, since he was a leader in his faith and depended on the compensation he received. He, he also feared losing his reputation among the people in his community. With sadness, he explained, I'm like a man fishing with my hands in a stream. I have caught a small fish in one, but a bigger fish is swimming by. To catch the bigger fish, I have to let go of the smaller one. The rich young ruler Matthew wrote about in Matthew 19 had a similar problem. When he approached Jesus, he, ha he had asked, What good thing must I do to get eternal life? He seemed sincere, but he didn't want to fully surrender his life to Jesus. He was rich, not only in money, but also in his pride of being a rule follower. Although he desired eternal life, he loved something else more and rejected Christ's words. When we humbly surrender our life to Jesus and accept his free gift of salvation, he invites us, come, follow me. What one thing does Jesus require of us to receive salvation and the promise of eternal life with him? What's keeping you from fully surrendering to him. Thank you for joining me for today's devotion and I hope you all have a wonderful day.